You're watching Sutlo TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London. ISRO, the Indian Space Agency, has released images of the far side of the moon today as its third lunar mission manoeuvres into position to find a safe landing spot near the moon's south pole. According to ISRO, the Chandrayaan-3 mission remains on schedule with systems undergoing regular checks as it approaches its key stage before landing. The agency reports the Mission Operations Complex, or MOX, is alive with energy and excitement, with a live telecast of the landing operations at MOX advertised to begin at 17.20 hours Indian Standard Time tomorrow, August the 23rd. Images of the far side of the moon were captured by the Lander Position Detection Camera, the LPDC, on the spacecraft's lander module known as Vikram, from an altitude of around 70 kilometres on August the 19th. These images were taken to assist the lander module in determining its position in terms of latitude and longitude by matching them against an onboard moon reference map. These photos come a day after Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft crashed into the moon after spinning out of control. Russia's first moon mission in nearly 50 years was due to be the first ever to land on the South Pole, but encountered technical difficulties as it manoeuvred into its pre-landing orbit. ISRO reported yesterday that India's Vikram lander module is due to touch down on the moon's south pole tomorrow evening at 4 minutes past 6 Indian time, that is 12.34 GMT. In the meantime, the module has been mapping the landing area and taking images with its hazard detection and avoidance camera. These black and white photographs will then enable the operations crew to locate the safest landing area for the module, avoiding boulders or deep trenches. Little is known about the far side of the moon, which is commonly referred to as the dark side of the moon, not because it receives less sunlight, it actually receives the same as the other side, but primarily because that side of the moon always remains pointing away from Earth and thus not visible to Earth observers. Stakes are high for India over the Chandrayaan-3 mission. After its earlier incarnation, the Chandrayaan-2 failed in its earlier attempt at a moon landing. However, if this mission is successful, India will be the first to land on the lunar south pole. It will also be only the fourth country to achieve a soft landing on the moon after the US, the former Soviet Union and China. The world's eyes will be glued to the live pictures broadcast tomorrow as we all hold our collective breath. Keep our fingers crossed for success. You've been watching Satellite TV News and you can find more stories in detail on our channel, that's Satnet News. So it's worth clicking on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And don't forget, if you have any comments or opinions on any of our news stories, you can comment below. Or why not drop us a direct message at message at satellitetv.com. We'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. For Satellite TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London.